Oh. <laughs> go ahead. No, you go ahead. Okay. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Damn. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. <laughs> All right, we're gonna make stuffed shells and this is a winner of a recipe. <laughs> hey everybody, it's Natasha of natashaskitchen.com. Today I'm gonna teach you how to make cheesy stuffed shells. Every time I make this, my kids get excited. This is a family favorite. It is so easy and I'm hungry, so let's get started. You'll need 20 uncooked jumbo pasta shells and we're gonna cook those according to the package instructions in some salted water. Once you've added the shells to the pot, give them a quick stir to make sure they're all submerged. Then stir it a few times while cooking to make sure they don't stick to the bottom of the pot. Make sure you don't overcook the shells. You wanna take them out when they're al dente. Al dente just means firm to the bite and typically the package instructions on pasta will be for al dente pasta. Once those are done, you wanna drain off the hot water, then fill up the pot with cold water. This will stop the cooking process and keep the pasta shells from sticking together. Usually while the pasta's on the stove, I'll prep our tomato sauce. Start by finely chopping a medium onion. Now finely mince three garlic cloves. I find the easiest way to peel a garlic clove is to first cut off the tough root end, then smash the garlic with the side of a knife. The peels should slide right off. Now just finely mince them up, and we're gonna take that minced garlic and chopped onion to the stove. Place a deep saute pan or a Dutch oven over medium high heat and add one tablespoon of olive oil. Add the onions and saute those for about three to five minutes, stirring occasionally until they're softened and golden. Next, add your minced garlic and season that with half a teaspoon of salt, a quarter teaspoon of pepper, and a quarter teaspoon of oregano. And I'm just using dried oregano here, and I love that this recipe calls for simple pantry and refrigerator staples, which makes dinner easy. Add three cups of marinara sauce. We do have a really good homemade marinara and I will leave a link to that in the recipe notes. Bring that to a uniform boil, then continue stirring and simmering for another two minutes. Now pour all of that marinara sauce into the bottom of a 13 by nine casserole dish. You also wanna make sure to preheat your oven to 375 degrees Fahrenheit. Set that aside for now and we're gonna quickly put together the cheese filling for the stuffed pasta shells. In a large mixing bowl, add 15 ounces of ricotta cheese. Now you'll need a total of three cups of shredded mozzarella cheese. Add two cups to the mixing bowl and set the rest aside. Also add one third cup of shredded Parmesan cheese, one large egg, half a teaspoon of salt, a quarter teaspoon of pepper, and we're gonna finely chop up and add one fourth cup of fresh parsley. The parsley adds freshness and flavor to the filling, and I do like to chop a little extra to use as garnish for the finished casserole. Use a spatula to stir all of your filling ingredients together until they are well combined. All right, that looks perfect, and it's time to stuff those shells. To make this process easy, I'm using a trigger release ice cream scoop. Fill a regular scoop about halfway, and then stuff it into the drained pasta shells. Make sure you don't overstuff the shells or you'll run out of filling. It should be just enough to fill them up. Arrange the stuffed shells snugly over the marinara sauce. Finally, sprinkle the top with that reserved cup of shredded mozzarella cheese. Cover the casserole tightly with a sheet of aluminum foil, then bake in the center of a preheated oven at 375 degrees Fahrenheit for about 30 minutes. When you take off the foil, the sauce should be bubbling at the edges. Once you remove the foil, broil on high heat for another two to four minutes to lightly brown the cheese. 
When it's finished, you'll have a cheesy, saucy, bubbly casserole. <laughs> oh my goodness, this looks and smells so good. And I cannot wait to dive into this. All right, and I do love to garnish with a little bit of fresh parsley because it adds that pretty pop of color. And we do have parsley in the recipe, so it makes sense. All right, that looks fantastic. You do want to let it rest a little bit because it's going to be blazing hot otherwise. Um, so don't do what I do. Do as I say. <laughs> All right, just kidding. You should wait. Don't burn your mouth. Okay, here we go. The taste test. All right, and I love how saucy and cheesy these are. Oh my goodness, look at that. Look at that cheese pull. Irresistible. Oh my. <laughs> it's still going. There you go. Mmm. <laughs> yummy yum. No words, just mmm. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, one more. One more. It's about three per serving. All right, here we go. I'm cutting into one of these. Yum. And these are still blazing hot, so <laughs> this is gonna be tricky. Mmm, right. that filling is super cheesy and creamy. Just delicious. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> mm. <laughs> mm. Mm. It's hard to believe this is a meatless dinner because it is so, so satisfying. You've got all the best flavors of lasagna, except this is so simple. I mean, you don't really have to layer anything. The sauce is ridiculously easy. And by the way, make sure you check out our homemade marinara sauce, which works so well in this dish. Make this once and you'll make it over and over. It's sure to become a new favorite casserole. It's so easy, it reheats really well. And it's just seriously delicious. And we have a taste tester that has been eagerly waiting for lunch. So come on in. He's coming at me with a fork. <laughs> I am so hungry. All right, dig in. It is hot though, so be careful. Oh my, you're going for the whole thing. It's going for the whole thing. <laughs> you must be hungry. Ooh, cheesy. Mm. What do you think? It is marvelous. Marvelous. <laughs> Straight from the taste tester. You heard it, folks. Marvelous. <laughs> and it's all the cheese dreams coming true, huh? Amen. Amen. <laughs> all right, we are a family of cheese lovers, and we are going to enjoy lunch very much. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you in our next video. <laughs> okay, let's have lunch. Go grab another plate. Yumma, yumma, yumma. Can't wait. Dad, you want some? Come yes. on. Come on over. I'll have like 15.